Hey everyone, I'm back and this week I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, CSS rounded corners. This is a great tool to use for uh, container boxes or menu bars. Uh, it actually works really well with a menu bar, but I'm going to be showing you how to use a simple uh, generator online, copy the code and edit it uh, to make it look how you want it to. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Google <coughs> and we're going to type in CSS border radius. Um, and now we're going to go click on the top result and we're going to search for that. And as you can see, top result border hyphen radius.com. We're going to click on that because that's the website we want. Um, <clears throat> and then this appears. Now, this is a box with four options and they've all got zero, 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 and zero. Now, what happens if we change it? So, if we change it to 20, suddenly all the corners are curved and they've, uh, well, they are rounded. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Um, anyway, um, what you can do, you can change uh, any of them now. So if you just change that one to zero, the rest will remain as 20. And if we change the other one to zero, the bottom two are now uh, on zero and the top two are now on 20. Make sure all the tick boxes at the bottom are clicked, by the way. This is for browser compat compatibility. So WebKit, Gecko, and CS CSS3. Um, and this is the code that we want. So we're going to copy this code now. Um, we're going to right click copy or control C um, and we can now close it and we're now going to the desktop we're going to create a new folder a uh, new folder you can call this whatever you want um, I'm going to just call this website for simplicity I'm going to open up the folder oh, uh, I'm going to minimize this or reduce the size of this window and uh, now I'm going to go into notepad or any text editor that you want um, and I'm going to paste the code that we just copied so there it is pasted um, and we're going to just add a few bits to it now. So we're going to do dot menu and then open curly brackets. Sorry, I've forgotten the official name. And then margin zero auto. This um, automatically aligns what we're what the element to the center. And then we're going to do background color. And um, we're going to you can do any background color that you want. We're going to just do nine 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 nine, which is a light gray. Uh, then a new line uh, width. Um, we can choose any width we want. I'm going to do four hundred pixels and then height. Uh, 300 pixels. So um, once you've done this we're going to close the bottom bit of this element and then we're going to go file save as and we're going to save it into the website folder and we're going to save it as uh, save file save as type file name any file name you want but just make sure it's got .css on the end then save. Um, so we're going to just drag this to the side a bit so as you can see we've now got the style.css page in the folder. We're going to open up a new notepad document now and in this notepad document we're going to do we're going to start writing the HTML. So HTML head title oh oh sorry I got rid of the title tag. Right HTML head title uh, anything you want in the title uh, so rounded corners close the title tag uh, link rel equals style sheet oh, sorry don't know what's going on with my typing at the moment href equals style.css because remember we called it style.css earlier. Close the head open the body. Now that we've opened the body we're going to do div class equals menu because remember we did dot menu in the CSS. Close the div, close the body, oh sorry my typing's awful today, uh, close the body and close the HTML um, and then we're going to do file save as again on this, we're going to save it in the same folder um, as the CSS um, and as you can see styles already there and we're gonna, we can call this anything we want as long as it's .html on the end this time, so index.html, save, I'm going to drag this window to the side again, and now you can see we've got two files, we're going to open up index.html, <coughs> and it opens up, and as you can see we've now got two borders, um, we, we've got the, the box with the two bottom, uh, top left and top right border, we can change the background colour now, so you can change it to whatever you want, so I'm going to do a green, so 99cc, <coughs> and then 33 file save, press refresh and as you can see it's gone green. <clears throat> now we can we can edit the box a lot, there are a lot of things we can do, um, you can have every corner a different uh, radius if you want. <clears throat> so the top left rad uh, the top left border I'm going to actually change to 50 pixels and I'm going to change it again here and again here. Now there are three types of code for, um, for browser compatibility so if you open it up in different browsers it will change. Press refresh and as you can see the top left corner has changed and the rest have stayed the same because that's the only one we altered and we changed that to 50, uh, a width of 50, oh, sorry a radius of 50 pixels. 
Um, we can change this one to 150 <coughs> to make it even more dramatic. 150, 150, 150. File, save. <coughs> Press refresh. And um, or can or can or F5. And there we go. It's changed to 150. <coughs> now we can change the bottom two as well. It just requires us copying a bit of text. So we copy this code, the WebKit one. Right click copy or control C and then we're going to just paste it in. Right click paste. And as you can see top we're going to change to bottom. And <coughs> we can leave it as left. And then we can change that radius to or we can just leave it at 50 pixels. Um, and then we copy the moz border radius. Right click copy. Oh, sorry, that was right click paste, control undo, right click copy, there we go, and right click paste or control V. Um, and then uh, change that to bottom left. Um, and then, oh, sorry, for some reason, what's going on here? I think I have copied the date range in. Uh, yes, I have, or the timestamp, so I'm going to get rid of, what was it? Where was it supposed to be? 150. Uh, so I need to get rid of that bit. There we go, sorry about that. Um, right, now we're going to copy this one. Right click copy, <coughs> right click paste, um, and you get the idea, change that to bottom, and then obviously left or right depending on what you'd like. And then um, I'm going to change that to left, and 50. So file, save, go back here, press refresh or F5, and ta-da, it's changed. So we've now got our box and we can change the width of this if we want. We just go back into style. Um, we can change the width to maybe 500 pixels, but you can feel free to do whatever you want with it. And this is a great way to do menu bars with curves. There you go. It's changed to 500 pixel width. Um, now we can actually add some text inside this box. So this text will appear inside the rounded corners box. File, save press refresh or or F5 and there we go it appears but obviously it's at the top uh, it's it's at the top left hand corner so we're going to add a bit of padding and we're going to style it a bit to make it look a bit nicer so font face it was Arial font size uh, sorry yep no that was right uh, font size <laughs> 18 pixels and we can do color uh, do a white color so FFF FFF F. and then we're going to do padding of 15 may yeah, 30 pixels file save press refresh or F5 and there you go it's all changed apart from the font uh, let's go take a look at that I apologize for that uh, oh I've done font face it should be font family I apologize for that uh, file save and press refresh there you go it's changed and that is how we create a box a rounded box don't forget to rate comment favorite and subscribe and i'll be back soon with more html and css